Hey, what's up guys? I want to tell you why I fled or basically left California. Now, I love California. I have absolutely been born and raised diehard California. In fact, my wife, when we got married, she lived in Arizona. I had her move all the way from Arizona to California. This was 15 years ago. And I had her move to California to live with me in California because California is beautiful. It's gorgeous. You could ski in the you know, winter time. You could also surf. You can also do wakeboarding. You can travel everywhere. There's everything. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous state. But sadly, even though I'm born and raised there, my kids are born there. We made a life there and friends and family. We left. And there are many different reasons why I, as a father, as a husband, as a leader of my family, chose to leave California. That's what I'm going to tell you all about. Hey guys, my name is Dustin Heiner with Master Passive Income, and I want to share with you how I left California, but also how I invest in real estate rental property so I never, ever have to work again. That's how I was able to move to Arizona, where I currently live in Phoenix, Arizona, because I don't have to work. I wasn't tied down to a job. You see, I left a couple years ago, and I was seeing it was getting bad then. And now, in 2020, 2021, it's actually getting so much worse. In fact, so many big companies are fleeing, literally fleeing California. If you know of Tesla, Elon Musk, he's literally moving his entire business to Texas. You also have Joe Rogan who had his business in LA. He's actually moving that to Texas as well. Apparently Texas is a good place. You also have Graham Stephan. You also know Graham Stephan probably through his YouTube videos and everything. Pretty popular guy. He's also a real estate investor. He is moving to Las Vegas, Nevada, and getting away from California. And another business owner, Ben Shapiro, has a good sized business moving out of California, moving to Texas. And there are so many reasons why people are moving, but let me get into a few of them. Number one is homelessness in all of California is getting worse and worse and worse. San Francisco, LA is getting worse. In 2009, the homelessness in LA was 30,000 people that were homeless, which is very sad. Now in 2019, there are 60,000 people that are homeless in LA right now. And it's absolutely getting worse and worse and worse. That was 2019. I can't imagine what it is now. San Francisco, same thing. San Francisco is getting so where you cannot walk anywhere without stepping in garbage or on drug needles or anything, or even feces on the ground because there are so many homeless people. Now, obviously the government should be doing something about this. Um, I'm not saying that they should actually just take care of them, but the government policies in California are making this worse. Another big one is, I see, I'm an investor. I invest in rental properties. I buy properties. I make money by renting them out to other people, giving good quality housing to people. And I make $250 a month in passive income every single month from every single property that I buy. Now in California though, prices are so crazy high. But on top of that, the taxes, the taxes are ridiculous. The government taxes right now from California are 13.3% on the income tax. And they want to raise it to, I think it's like 16.8% in California state income tax. Imagine you getting a paycheck and 16.8% of that money coming out of your pocket. You make $100, 16, almost $17. They're literally just gonna take away. That's just the state. Now, if you combine that with the federal tax too, remember you have state and federal taxes, you're paying 54% in taxes. Imagine working the entire year from January all the way to December, and from January to June, you do not make any money. All that money goes to the government. And then, the rest of the year, you actually get to save that money. But that's not the only taxes. There are so many other taxes involved in California. Another way that California is trying to actually increase taxes is getting rid of Proposition 13. Proposition 13 is phenomenal for us as investors or even just homeowners. You, if you own a home in California, you have Proposition 13 right now. Back in the 70s, the government said, you know what, let's make sure we keep that uh, tax is low for the homeowners because tax is low, help them out. So they made a proposition 13. That made your base value, whatever you bought the house at, that is their base value. It doesn't fluctuate over time, meaning, hey, the prices went up. We went by bought it $100,000 and now it's worth 2 million. Well, you're still down here. You're not raised up to 2 million. They're now trying to get rid of proposition 13 where you will now be paying exorbitant amounts of taxes. So you're getting rid of that base value and you're gonna be at the market value, if not more. And in fact, if you own your house for like 20, 30 years or your grandparents own your house, you can actually get that house from them. They can do a parent to child exclusion, give you their tax rate from Proposition 13 at, let's say they bought the house at $50,000. It's worth a million now. 
you still are taxed on that $50,000 that they had the base value. They're going to get rid of that. They really want to get rid of that. So you start paying more and more taxes. The government is projecting if they got rid of the Proposition 13, uh, they're going to actually make like $2 trillion more in property taxes off of you, off of me, off of the people that actually live there. On top of that, California wants to institute a wealth tax. A wealth tax. So whatever money you have, they're going to tax even more on top of state income tax and federal income tax. And what's worse, if you flee that state, they will track you for 10 years. So whatever your wealth tax is then, they're going to track that for 10 years. And if you move to Texas, 10 years later, you're still getting taxed every single year from California. My goodness, it's like, can't you guys spend money wisely? Apparently they can't because they keep needing more and more money. On top of that, there's a 1% disability tax you have to pay, you're absolutely gonna pay. There's also a 9.95, where I used to live, 9.95% sales tax. So on top of just making money, you get taxed. Spending money, you get taxed as well as you get penalized twice. And on top of that, you have a gas tax. 50 cents a gallon is taxed going to the government, and they say it's to pay for roads and all that sort of stuff, but if you look at Highway 99, it's literally not repaired. It's not any better than it ever was. It's actually looking worse. So I don't know what they're doing with the money, but you are getting taxed heavily. And as an investor, there's another tax that is so very, very irritating. Now, I buy rental properties and I invest all over the country. I don't necessarily invest in the state, where, but I can, but I invest all over the country. My students, we invest all over the country. Now, if you live in California and you create an LLC in let's say Wyoming, which I teach all my students and I can teach you how to do that too, but you create an LLC in Wyoming and then you buy a property in let's say South Carolina that the LLC in Wyoming owns. So you're California, or California, Wyoming, and South Carolina. So you're buying the home in South Carolina, but you live in California you get taxed $800 on that LLC that's in Wyoming. If you're in any other state, just about every any other state, you won't get taxed. Like I literally live in Arizona. I have my um, Wyoming LLCs. Those Wyoming, Wyoming LLCs, I have a bunch of them because I have a bunch of properties, but that Wyoming LLC is, that's all I'm paying, like 50 bucks a year towards them. For Arizona, I called them and, hey, do I need to pay you a franchise tax? Like California charges $800 just for the privilege of being there. And they said, no, no, absolutely not. That's just stupid. I don't know why anybody would tax that. Like, they didn't say that. It's more jokingly. And so if you live in California, have your LLC in another state, you will still have to give $800 a year to the government, to California for franchise tax, which is literally just like for the privilege of living in California, you have to pay another tax. Other things, reasons why, is crime. The crime rate, not just the homelessness, but the crime rate is skyrocketing all over California. In fact, they passed recent laws letting out violent criminals, letting them out. In fact, there was in Fresno County, the sheriff there in Fresno County was asked a question. They asked her, well, Sheriff Mims, are you out there able to um, you know, track down these people who are not wearing masks, who are violating curfew, violating quarantine? She says, no, I can't. I got to go arrest all these people that the government released out of prison for no reason. They let them out. I have to go re-arrest them because they're creating more crime. It's getting worse and worse. Crime is getting worse and worse all over California. And on top of all the crime, they're actually even making it easier or less restringent for pedophilia, you know, with little kids, bad people with little kids. So, so sad what they're doing in California with crime. Crime is skyrocketing. People are getting hurt. They're wanting to take away everything of your rights. And another thing is how expensive everything is. Now, when I moved from California to Arizona, I felt like I had 20%, like literally no joke, 20 more, 20% 20 more money in my pocket to spend. I had so much more money in my pocket to buy things, buy, pay for food. And it, it's a lot of how much expenses, not just taxes. Obviously taxes take a lot more money out of your pocket, but everything costs so much less outside of California because those taxes make prices go so high. Everything, including taxes, including toilet paper and food and everything, there's a tax on everything. If you buy a can of soda in California, you're taxed on that can. Five cents per can, 10 cents per bottle, you know, it gets a little bigger. They just keep taxing you left and right. On 
on top of that, there are such restrictive laws on the people. Now, this is a Democrat-run straight state. There's at least 61 Democrats to 17 Republicans. So it's been Democrat the whole entire time. Now, not saying that that is good or bad. I'm just saying that's just the way it is. When you have these types of laws that are really, really restrictive, then you are actually being restrictive as a person. Now, there are things that I really like. If you've probably seen me... I, Inside all of my videos, you'll see I usually have a gun. Actually, this is not the gun I normally have. I just bought a Glock, and this is a Glock 34. Love the Glock, and it's absolutely, it's, it's empty right now, so there's nothing inside of it. But I love firearms. In fact, I also bought a AR-15, so no joke. And I didn't just bring this out for the video. This is literally sitting right behind me because I just bought it, and I'm in Arizona, and I was able to buy it and protect my family with this. And, and also, no joke, I even have... I even have another one, you know, another one right here. So I got one and two right here. Now I'm not like John Wick or anything, shooting up a bunch of people. This is literally, I can pass all my firearms. I can pass all my rental properties down to my kids. That's literally going to them. And I absolutely love Matt Best, where he's actually bringing out all his firearms. And a cheap pocket knife. Pocket 1911s, hip revolver, cargo pocket 43s, back pocket Glocks, ankle carry scar, toe carry MP5, and a uh, thigh carry Glock, back carry shotguns, uh, back carry AR, horizontal carry AR, flip flop carry shotgun. And so those restrictive laws on firearms, on just having animals or anything in life, like there's so many restrictions. When I moved to Arizona, I felt like, man, is this what America feels like? This is amazing, I really love it. And so I don't know if it's living in Arizona that's fantastic or just getting out of California is fantastic. Now I feel so much safer out of California, just feel so much more protected, have much more money in my pocket. top of that, you have other things like the air quality in California is horrific. The fires, all the time fires, everything from arson to, to you know, God, na you know, nature disasters, all that sort of stuff. It's so bad in California. And I want to tell you, that was the best decision, moving out of California. The best decision I've ever since, since I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior and gotten married and had my kids. This is the next best decision to get out of California. Now, I'm praying that the California gets better. It, it cleans up its act and actually gets back to being a way it should be and the way it was, but I don't see it coming anytime soon. And so that's why I fled California. Now, about, what about you? Have you fled California? Are you thinking about California and leaving California? Leave in the comments. I want to chat with you. I love answering the comments. I love talking to everybody about these, uh, you know, everything in my videos. So make sure that you leave a comment in the video so I can chat with you. I definitely want to talk to you. But also, I want to give you my free real estate investing course. If you look in the description, masterpassiveincome.com forward slash free course, I will literally give you my free real estate investing course showing you how to make $250 in passive income from every single rental property. Now, this is super simple to do. It's not easy. It's simple. You do step one, step two, step three, and you have a fully functioning business making you $250 a month in passive income. I have 30 properties. I have 30 properties that make me at minimum $250. Some are making me $500 a month and I don't work. I work 30 minutes a month, not a week, not a day, a month, 30 minutes a month. And I want to show you how to do that. Get my free real estate investing course or text the word rental to 33777. I'll give that to you. Subscribe to my channel, you guys, and like this video so more people can see this and like this video, watch this video right here. I'll see you in the next one.